The flat whetstones I use for convex blades, like the majority of knives, are 1000 and 4000 grit. And the rounded whetstones I use for concave blades, like bird's beak or concave parts of a knife, are 1000 and 3000 grit. This video shows how to sharpen convex and concave peeling knives using whetstones and how to polish the surface using a leather strop loaded with polishing compound. The stones need to be soaked in water before they are used. I let mine soak for at least an hour before I start using them. The theory behind sharpening a peeling knife is simple. Apply pressure to the metal blade as it is rubbing against the flat surface of an abrasive stone to remove thin layers of metal along the knife's edge. Do this repeatedly on both sides of the blade to create a sharp point in the middle of the blade that will slice through materials effortlessly. However, when you sharpen your kitchen knives with whetstone, it takes a lot of practice to maintain a very precise angle as you hold the blade as well as physical stamina. You must firmly grip the knife and pick an angle of about 15 degrees and always use that same angle as you are rubbing the edge of the steel against the stones. Some people use coins or inventive angle finders but I find the angle of the grind that I used before because it is always the same motion. When you use a leather strop you want to spread a generous layer of polishing compound on the leather and drag the blade over top to get a mirror finish. You want to press down firmly and take care not to change the angle as you are pulling the blade towards you. Never push the knife blade forward for the obvious reason of cutting through the leather. Keep loading the strop with polishing compound and continue until the scratches are removed. Concave blades can be very challenging to keep sharp. There are lots of different ways to sharpen concave blades, but I prefer to use curved whetstones fastened to a vise with rubber grips that stick to my work surface. You are pressing down on the stone so you do not want the stone to slip, which can cause injury or gouge the stone and blade. Use wet dry sandpaper to flatten the surface of the stone by following the contours of the stone carefully to remove any high spots. Use the stone the same way you use a flat stone except the grinding surface is a lot smaller. Firmly grasp the knife and establish a 15 degree angle against the stone and drag the knife edge along the stone. Water stones need to have water on them to lubricate the metal on the stone or they will get sticky and cause the knife to gouge the stone counterproductively. You want to sharpen each side of the blade the same so the point is sharp all the way across the knife. Whetstone grits get smoother as the number goes up so finish polishing with the finest grit stone. A bird's beak peeling knife is used in the garde manger section or cold kitchen to create decorative and detailed cuts in fruits and vegetables so you want to protect the edge and keep it sharp. 